When we think of box turtles, we think peaceful, slow moving, sweet animals, but they're actually predators and hunters. <coughs> This city simulates a forest floor that a box turtle would be actively tearing apart, ripping through pine needles and even undergrowth as it looks for its prey. Mm. Live prey is crucial for a box turtle to stay in optimal health. So stick around because I'm gonna show you the absolute best options for live prey that you can give your turtle and maybe let them be a little destructive too. Okay, so what you just got to see Otis do was not actually destroy a city, and of course box turtles and other turtles have no interest in really doing that, but you got to see him work for his food. Because in nature, nobody hands it to them, box turtles often have to find and chase down their prey. So as I said, that city simulates what they would be doing on a forest floor by ripping everything to shreds to find the right prey items. And if you're a little invertebrate hiding out on the forest floor, well, it's probably pretty terrifying for you. So. That was Otis, the Eastern box turtle. And what I have right here is Ovita, the Florida box turtle. And we're gonna start going over some of these amazing food items that you should absolutely be offering to your box turtles regularly if you want them to live those long lifespans they're intended to live. So this is a classic case of predator and prey we're dealing with here. Even though box turtles eat other food items like mushrooms, vegetation, fruits, and even carry-on, live prey is something that they absolutely need to get. So the first item we're gonna go over is from a company called Grubterra, who were gracious enough to send us this to review. This is black soldier fly larvae, and this stuff is awesome. Not just for box turtles, but for a wide variety of reptiles. Comprised of 40% protein, 28% fat, 10% fiber, and 3% calcium, black soldier fly larvae makes an excellent food item for box turtles. And according to a study, one third of the food we consume ends up in landfills that decompose into water polluting sludge, and that creates challenges and worsens the carbon footprints. However, with the help of black soldier fly larvae, the amount of food waste thrown into the landfill will be drastically lessened. They actually help convert 30 metric tons of food waste into approximately just 10 metric tons. So they're highly beneficial to our environment. Grub Terra's black soldier fly larvae are developed commercially to be marketed as pet food and to be insect feeders for exotic pets like box turtles and other reptiles. The larvae has an adequate calcium to phosphorus ratio which plays a vital role in an animal's body and reptiles are absolutely no exception to that. Being a non-invasive and highly sustainable food items for your box turtles, I highly recommend you go to Grub Terra today to get your black soldier fly larvae. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video. Don't hesitate, head over to their website. They ship fast. It's excellent quality stuff and your box turtles are gonna be very, very happy. So let's move on to another invertebrate that box turtles love to eat. Earthworms and night crawlers are one of the most nutrient dense foods that box turtles can eat. These worms are high in protein, iron, and amino acids. And they help turtles break down food and they can even repair body tissue. And all box turtles, no matter where they come from, can locate these worms on their own in their native habitats. And this is one of the food items along with slugs and snails and isopods that these turtles are constantly tearing apart the forest floor to get to. Thank you. 
This little guy is called a hornworm. Hornworms are another great source of food for your box turtles as far as live prey goes, and they're a little bit easier for them to catch than some of the other ones I might show you. However, although they are high in calcium and they are good for hydration, they are low in protein and they're really only good in combination with the other food items I'm showing you. Still, box turtles absolutely love them, and in the summer, you might find them eating your tomato plants. Pull them off and feed them right to your box turtles and watch them go nuts over them. This here is a super worm, one of the most readily available live prey items you can find for your reptiles, and they're so readily available that there rarely is a pet store that does not carry these. Superworms are rich in protein and also amino acids along with vitamins and minerals like potassium and iron. They also have a lot less fat content and cholesterol than something like beef, which unfortunately people still feed to box turtles. Like feeder crickets, you will not have an issue finding superworms for your animals, but keep in mind, they really are high in protein. Something like a cricket is actually leaner for your reptiles. So as I've said in many videos that we've done on similar subjects, and I'll say it again in this one, you wanna use a wide variety. So using all of these prey items together helps keep the balance in the animal's diet, along with things like fruits and vegetables and mushrooms because box turtles eat that stuff too. You don't need to create a fake city to watch your box turtle attack dubia roaches, but you should know that they are one of the absolute A-list insects out there to feed your animals. There are a lot of benefits to these bugs and you can also breed them very easily. We do it right here. And once you have that source of them readily available, it makes life easier for you and of course your box turtles. And you can clearly see here that Otis, whether he's chasing them through a fake city or just accepting them right off tongs, does not hesitate in the slightest to scarf them down. Dubias are not only packed with lots of good things that these animals need to stay in good health for life, but they deliver these things with much less of a downsize than other insects, and that's coming from Dubia's website. For example, they are relatively high in protein, calcium, and minerals, but they're also low in fat. So once again, in combination with all of these other items we're showing you, you end up with a wonderful balance in the diet of your box turtle, and that's whether you house them indoors or outdoors. Outdoors, of course, they can find a lot of these food items or similar food items all on their own. If you put a lot of thought into naturally decorating those outdoor enclosures and making sure that the insects have places to hide because you can just go ahead and let these items go in the enclosure and they'll breed and do their own thing and then the turtles can find them whenever they want. Don't forget that the link to purchase black soldier fly larvae from Grub Terra is in the description of this video and hey if you want to see us feed some of our other animals check out this video right here.